There is a hidden gem in Beaver County, a spot where you can get away from the noise of life and instead just sit and watch a butterfly float through a secret garden. To tell us all about it is Master Gardener of the Sully Nature Park herself, Pam Varga. Pam, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, you know, I love to talk about the park. I'm excited to learn about it. So for someone who never visited, how would you describe this nature park? Uh, we have 90 acres of beautiful woodland trails. We have two ponds for catch and release fishing. And we have uh, meadows full of wildflowers. We have pollinator gardens and a greenhouse where we raise butterflies and native plants. It's really a beautiful place all year long. So how have I been living in Pittsburgh my whole life and I never even heard about this magical place? We're, we're kind of off the beaten path. We're on McKinley Road off of Route 51 in Chippewa, which is near Beaver Falls. And you have to kind of look for us because we only have 90 acres, but that works for us because the people who find us are the ones that are looking for a quiet green place. It's mostly about nature. I like it. Can you tell me about this greenhouse you're talking about and, and the butterflies? Okay, we started a pollinator conservation project a few years ago and it centers on the greenhouse. In the greenhouse, we, na we raise native plants and annuals that will provide pollen and nectar for butterflies and bees and host plants that butterflies can lay their eggs on. So we raise a lot of milkweed and we also have a butterfly nursery where we raise butterflies. We right now are doing monarch butterflies and we're raising giant swallowtails and buckeyes and black swallowtails and uh, a lot of other different kinds of butterflies. So how can people see the butterflies? Do they, do they look in at them or are the ones that are released still around? Yeah, the greenhouse is open all the time. You can, you can go in any time. And we have the caterpillars set up in cages. And then a corner of the greenhouse is a big screened in like a cage where we put the adults so they can fly around. And we put plants in there so they can nectar and the adults mate and lay eggs. So we have eggs to uh, raise another generation. Then when we let them go out into the gardens, we have lots of flowers that are there for pollinators and the butterflies just fly all around and people can come and take pictures or visit the greenhouse. So what is your, your ideal afternoon spent at the park if you had to map it out for us? Uh, first of all, come and walk the trails. Uh, it's beautiful any time of the year. Right now, especially it's cool, it's mm -hmm. green, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Then come into the greenhouse and watch the butterflies flying around and look at the caterpillars. And if you tour our gardens and see our new sculpture, and we'll talk to you about what kind of plants that you can put into your garden that will attract pollinators, especially butterflies. We're really all about conservation education, and we use butterflies as a springboard to get people involved in gardening for pollinators and to help them to understand the importance of conservation. Mm -hmm. And I would assume kid-friendly and pet-friendly? Oh, absolutely. You can walk your dog, you can walk your kid, you can walk granny, you can walk anybody. <laughs> Well, Pam, th this sounds, yeah, great. Thank you for your time. You, this sounds very relaxing. You are very relaxing, and I hope the viewers at home are relaxed just thinking about spending time there next weekend. Thanks for sharing all the information with us. Okay, and please follow us on, on uh, Facebook, too, and you can see more pictures of the park and learn more about what we're about. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Pam.